Wingardium Leviosa. Hi guys, it's Elizabeth. It's Tuesday here on the Keys channel. If you haven't noticed already, this is kind of going to relate to Harry Potter. This is my wand that I got at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Universal in Florida. And I just, I want to go back to Florida for that reason, that and Disney. And just because I love, I love Florida. Um, if you know me very well, which some of you on the channel have been watching these videos and the, the ones that I've uploaded on my main channel, um, you know that I love Harry Potter, like, a lot more than I should. Today, however, I'm talking about something a little bit different than the actual stories of Harry Potter, which are great. If you haven't read them, you need to go read them. Today, I got on Netflix and I started watching a random Netflix movie, which I do sometimes, and this one was called Magic Beyond Words, the J.K. Rowling story. I had never before, like, known J.K. Rowling's story other than like the books that she wrote and the movies that came from them. Um, so I figured, hey, this sounds like an interesting movie. I'm gonna watch it. And oh my gosh, it was heartbreaking and amazing. And I just, I love J.K. Rowling all the more now. It tells a story of J.K. Rowling's life before Harry Potter made it big and how she was a single mother living off welfare, and three years later she was one of the richest women in the world because of the book that she wrote. And it tells how she always wanted to be a writer but never had really let other people read her stuff because she didn't feel like it was real enough, it wasn't finished, which I can totally relate in to. In loving the books, I love the fact that she I could see how she could put some of the stuff that's in her life has happened into the books, which is something that I do all the time too in the things that I write. I have found that this story of an author who went from literally from rags to riches, um, this story is just so inspiring, whether all of it's true in the movie or not. I am someone who writes. I have been writing since I was like able to. We're talking about little first, second grade Elizabeth writing all types of stories on her own. Writing is something that I don't plan on ever giving up. And I want to be a published author so badly, but it's such a hard thing to do. Um, as of this moment, I have written my one children's book, um, and I haven't heard back from the publisher that I sent it to. Um, and I've written my NaNoWriMo book, which I still need to edit and then possibly get an agent or something uh, to try and get it published, because that's, that's the thing I really, really want to get published more than anything else. Um, and just the other day I was brainstorming, because I really, I'm like, I need another thing to write about, because I feel like writing, and I came up with yet another novel idea. Um, so on a wall over there that you can't see, I've started kind of storyboarding with post-it notes the ideas for the story that I have. And I have several other novels that are just incomplete because I don't have all of the ideas needed to finish them yet. Um, so yes, anyone who loves Harry Potter or J.K. Rowling or is an author looking to find inspiration, uh, go watch the thing on Netflix. I named it earlier. Um, I hope you guys are having a good week and hopefully I upload this on time. I'll see you later. DFTBA.